you can see you have a little rocky obstacle our little cavern we're about to make here that looks completely way too round to be a real rock so what we're going to do use our vertex tool go down here to constraints and you'll see edged and you can just drag these lines around a little bit to make it so it's not so uniform uh, and believe it or not you will be able to see these lines under your texture they'll be quite obvious so uh, just gonna go around and do this for a few just make it look a little bit more random a little more washed as if water was running over it eating away at <coughs> angles stuff like that take off my constraint for this one get a little point at the top do a little bit more back here okay now you got a little bit of a rock shape on your midsection okay on the base you can do this before you make it or not you know just kinda random it up make it oops my edge constraint still on turn that off you know bring it in or things like that now if you bring it in like this you can, these edges are way too pointy so kind of suck them in too maybe bring this one out a little bit Okay, so that's a little rock. Or it's not very little, but it's a rock. Okay, it's over, over here. Let's make one. Let's make it a little bit more interactive, though. Let's make it so you can walk through it. So we're gonna make a larger rock. You don't want to make the shape exactly like the last one, so just kind of change it up a little bit. I'm going to make it kind of contour a little bit with this wall. You can see it's kind of following the shape a little bit. Alright, um, we need to add some more ver vertices for this one. So add one there. You don't want too long of faces, because long faces on rocks do not look right. So just kind of insert them here or there. Kind of give them just bump them out a little bit. You know that's not a very good bump, so just kind of make it go with it. Whatever looks good. Okay. So again, we're gonna select all these faces. Uh, let's see what would I want to do here for this. Yeah, let's go ahead and select them all. We'll just uh, cut ourselves a walk with it and bevel this one. That's why it's looking kind of. Yeah, I forgot an important step, so I have to back up the tutorial. But I lost my edges, but don't worry about it. Yours will work just fine. All right, bevel tool. This is what I forgot to do. I forgot to change my bevel outline. So I had a perfectly straight rock here. Okay, I'm going to go back to my other view so I can see its height a little bit better. Uh, you generally want to keep this rock. You don't want to make it look exactly like the other one. But I would make it look similar. Just because, you know, rocks in certain areas are going to look similar. I'm not going to make it quite the same height. You should have something similar to this. You can see my polygons crossed here. To fix this, I'm just going to bloop target weld bam fixed that way you won't have a bad edge there now it created a triangle on my corner here and you want to keep away from triangles but since this is an area that's rarely ever might even possibly be seen uh, not much to worry about 
Okay, go around, make sure no other poly is crossed. Okay, it has a pretty nice shape to it already. But I'm going to go ahead and change it up just a little bit. Turn down my constraint. I like this corner here, so I'm going to try to keep the editing mostly over here. On the other part of the mesh. I didn't really explain the constraints tool, but since, you know, I'm sure you figured it out on the other rock there, that it just keeps the vertices following that line. That way it doesn't stray too far from what you want it. We're all about professionalism here at Oblivion Interactive. <laughs> all right. So there you got a little bit of a rock look to it. Um, the one of the biggest problems I may have said this already. Who knows with all the edits and redoes I've been having to do <laughs> that uh, the floor shouldn't. One of the biggest problems with renegade maps I see is people just leave the floor flat they don't add any variation to it it's just smooth all the way across and for this I like to use soft selection now we're kinda low on poly here which you can change up really easily just uh, select your edge tool select a few lines just hit the connect button bam gives you a lot more polys since I'm gonna put like a mound here I'm gonna go ahead and add some more polys. Oops. You'll want to do only one set at a time or to give you a circle. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do it on the uh y axis too. Ah, forgot a line. Let's go ahead and do it all the way over there. Okay, now you got a lot denser of an area for doing this in. Select the middle one. Go down to your soft selection, enable it, if uh, you don't already, and you have your uh, measurements here. <clears throat> this will give me a small mound. I'm looking for a little bit bigger one. So just increase this here, and you can see it extending out to the vertices around it. Uh, oh, my edge. Edge constraint's still on. Off. Select your Z, and it'll give you a nice little smooth mound. It's not sharp on the edges or anything like that. And that'll just add, make your terrain seem a little bit more believable. Make sure it's not too extreme. Maybe a little less than that. It's kind of obvious. There you go. And do similar around your map. If you want to add more polys, it's fine. They give you better quality hills. I was just showing you that one for reference. Uh, you can do it on the edges too. It'll move your cliffs for you. Give your cliffs a less uh, flat line there. This bad corner, I'm glad I saw that. Uh, take off your edge selection for this kind of situation. Select that, select that and hit the connect button. Now give you a new line through there so it won't have a bent uh face. Okay, uh do some more soft selection here. 